living proof that amazing stories happen here. I never thought I would be a cancer patient in the first place, and then when I found out I had bladder cancer, to me, it was a death sentence because I was in stage four. I can adjust to anything if you just let me live, and God let me live. He put all the right doctors, nurses, my family, my friends. I just kept on living from one day to the next. The staff, they're just marvelous. And when I say marvelous, I put my life into their hands. And here I am, cancer free after more than three years. Coming down here is one of the best things that has ever happened to me. I'm sorry it took cancer to make me do this. I volunteer in the Tate Cancer Center where I was treated. And this is one of the best hospitals. Let me tell you, the, st the staff is unbelievable. I felt like a celebrity. I really did. That's how well they treated me. One thing, I wish I lived next door to this hospital because I would be here every day, every single day, and I know I would. I have come 22 miles one way. My husband told me I had a gas allowance. <laughs> anyway, I come two or three times a week. The people I've met down there are some of the best people. And I try to put patients at ease. This is just the beginning. And now I have the opportunity to talk to other patients, some with the same type of cancer that I had. And they were just as desolate as I was when they first found out. But they can look at me and say, oh, she made it. And so to me, that gives me more pleasure to let somebody know that there is another side to this.